Hi guys and happy December. Today is December 1st and I have decided to do vlog -a days 2023. I am going to try to vlog daily as much as I possibly can. I don't know that I'm going to have a video out every single day. Likely not, but I figured I would rather just do the best that I can than do nothing at all. So here I am. I am home for the vlog -a days I have no travel planned currently until sometime in January. So I thought this would be a great time to share with you guys just some of the stuff going on at home. My house is a bit of chaos right now. I still have to pack away the rest of my Thanksgiving stuff and start decorating for um, Christmas. I know that a lot of you guys probably think that's crazy, but I have always done my holidays monthly. So December 1st, would start Christmas, not any time in November. So it's like November would be Thanksgiving, October would be Halloween from the first of the month to the very last day of the month. That's the holiday I'm invested in. But this is kind of late for me being December 1st and still having Thanksgiving decor out. I know that's embarrassing, but I have to clean that up. I have been working on some gift baskets and things that I have for tricky tray events and fundraiser events and holiday bazaars. So much going on this time of year, so I'm, I'm gonna show that to you in a little bit. I have some donations going out today that I have to take care of. So just a lot of things. Um, tonight in our town, we have a really fun event going on. It's called Hometown Holidays. So I live in a very small, quaint town. I love the neighborhood that I'm in. I live kind of in the historic district. So all of the houses in my neighborhood are over a hundred years old. And we typically have a horse carriage that goes through town giving horse carriage rides. Santa comes to the firehouse for pictures. My daughter Madison is going to be performing in the gazebo. She's singing with her class, so that's gonna be fun. They're gonna be singing Christmas carols and all of the small shops on Main Street are going to be open for business tonight, which will be a lot of fun to maybe do some local shopping. I do like to support all of our small shop owners. I think that's really important this time of year. And we have some really cute shops in my town. We have a candy shop. We have a really cute consignment shop. We have a little bookstore and there's going to be a book signing going on tonight for a Christmas book. So I'm just like really excited about all the events. Unfortunately, it's raining and they're doing it rain or shine. So we'll see how it goes. It's going to be a little uncomfortable. They have already sadly canceled the horse carriage rides and that's one of my favorite things, but I get it. You don't want to do that in the rain. And that's it. That's everything that's going on today. I am going to bring you along with me and I hope that you enjoy Vlogadies 2023. Good morning, Chester. <laughs> Good morning, Leo. So you guys will see this on my holiday gift guide if I have a chance to do it. Um, but I got these blankets from Walmart and I love this for covering up the couch for dog hair because I just think it looks so much better than, than these other covers that we have on the couch because number one, they never stay covered. So he finds that one little patch that's open and that's where he lays and it just always looks a mess. So I think that the other one just looks nicer draped over the couch and it's machine washable from Walmart, right Chester? I think that's the better way to go. So I actually have another one that I'm going to be using on this couch, but I didn't open it yet because I'm gonna use it for my holiday gift guide. Okay, so this is the current chaos of my life. Um, <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. Okay, so this is what happened. The dishwasher broke. We had a big leak all over the floor, hence the towels, and we only have cold water. So I'm waiting to get hot water so at least I could hand wash the 10 gazillion dishes that I have that are now piling up onto the counter. It's just been a mess. My husband's trying, trying to fix it for several days now. It's just not going good, is it, Leo? Not going good at all. So what I did was I bribed Madison. She said for a Starbucks, she would dry the dishes if I washed them all. So we have a plan. At least that'll be helpful because also, despite everything you already see, there are more dirty dishes in the dishwasher. I only pulled out this one rack because I'm actually using it as a drying rack for now. So yeah, it's going to be fun. I probably have a good hour of dishes to wash. Everyone... It's Emily, and Merry Christmas, because it's December 1st, and my mom got me this advent calendar. 
But the exception to getting it for me was that I show all of you every day of coffee. So welcome to morning coffee with Emily. I know I'm the reason you all come here anyways. So December 1st, officially the season. Ooh, and some caramel macchiato. This is my favorite and I'll be back with a review for you guys. This smells delicious and someone's mad at me because her favorite's caramel macchiato, but she is not trying to sip. I'll let you guys know how it is. I have lots of donations to drop off today and Emily's going to wrap this for me. So this is a family of, I think it's two adults and four kids. So this is for one of the little girls. It's in the wish list was all clothing. So I've been doing some shopping at Marshall, Marshall's. I thought this was really cute too. This is for another one of the little girls and they have a 12 month old baby. So of course I had to get something Disney. I thought this was so cute. It's a little Minnie Mouse outfit and look at the back. How cute is that? And then I also got the baby this really cute, cozy cat outfit. And then they have a little 12 year old or seven year old boy. So I got him this, oh actually no, this was for the dad. This is like a jockey sweatshirt. I got the boy a sweatshirt as well. For the mom, I got this cozy robe because she didn't have anything on her wish list, although they asked for clothing for everyone else in the family and I didn't know the size, so I thought the robe would be nice. And then for a little girl, I have this blue sweater. It's like a nice blue chenille sweater. And then this was the Adidas sweatshirt that I picked up for the seven-year-old boy. So Emily is gonna wrap all of this for me and I'm going to deliver it to the church. I just thought I'd show you some of the baskets that I put together. This one I've already wrapped up, but I have Belgium chocolates in there and travel mugs and candy and just kind of all travel related things because I am promoting um, the company that I work for, Mickey World Travel and my travel advisor services. So this one is also all relevant to travel. Look at this cute flamingo. I thought that was so adorable. And I have like vacay mood. I have um, whoever wins these baskets gets a $25 Visa gift card for me when they book a trip. So that's a fun perk and some custom made mugs and things like that. Little towel clips. I thought these were really cute too a journal, like a travel journal. So all kinds of fun stuff in there. This one is my favorite. I actually want to keep this one for myself. <laughs> this is so cute. So in here, as you can see, it's like a Minnie Mouse themed basket. So adorable. I love this cup. I found this at Marshall's. I thought it was just the most adorable Christmas cup. I really, I really came close to keeping it a couple of times. And then these little pink champagne towel clips. Um, one of those hair bands to pull back your hair when you're washing your face. I have a little Mickey Mouse Santa hat in there. I have a Minnie Mouse cosmetic bag and a little mini stuffed animal ornaments, another travel journal. It's just so, so adorable. I'm super excited about that giveaway. And this one was more like Encanto themed. So I have the cookies and the little cocoa mug, some ornaments and things like that. So much fun. And there's also a travel pillow behind there, a Minnie Mouse travel pillow, which I was debating. I felt like it would go better in here, but it just fit this vibe better. I don't know. It worked out in the end. <laughs> so I thought that was really cute. And I think that's all my baskets. So I have four baskets right now. Um, two are going to be for a tricky tray and the other two are going to be giveaways for a holiday bazaar that I'm doing. And then I have like some ornaments and things that I was kind of adding to spruce up the bags a little bit when I wrap them up. Like for this one, I just put an ornament around it. So I thought that was really cute. All right, so Emily has another countdown situation going on. So now we have the 12 days of socks, but I think we're gonna do two 12 day installments. Yeah, for again? 24 days. So okay. we're starting with this one. Okay, where did you find this? Five below. Very nice. <laughs> Let's see the first sock. I had this one time. I think it was all Disney princesses. Mm -hmm. I know, it was fun. How old were you? <laughs> Last year. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. It doesn't open easy. No, and I think so. the socks are hard to get out. Uh-oh. 
They're green. Matches your green sweater. Nice. Ooh. 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 Let's see. I'm scared you're going to get my feet in this. Don't get my feet. I don't, I don't. You're going to get the wrong type of subscribers if you show my feet. They can only see my socks. <laughs> no, <laughs> what? what? <laughs> I got your phone. You have to put like an emoji over it. <laughs> It was just a toe. We didn't see the whole thing. <laughs> There's the socks. Very lovely. Right, Careful not. not to get your feet. Okay, beautiful. Ab, do you want to put them on? No! <laughs> okay. So this is unfortunate. We have this beautiful old settee, and it was reupholstered. You can see there is another upholstery underneath there. And our dog Chester has been constantly ripping and eating at this, so it's totally destroyed. So now we need to, if we want to keep it, we have to bring it back in and have it completely reupholstered. And I don't know how expensive that's going to be. But this is actually a really nice piece of furniture. So yeah, we have this and there's something else that he damaged that I'm going to show you guys as well. So we also have this old chair that I love. This chair is actually original to the house. The original owners had this chair in the living room at one point in time. So it's very special to me, but I don't know if this fell off or if he like knocked it off and then he chewed the little applique that goes here. So that's something I need to replace as well. But yeah, it's really hard to keep this old furniture intact when you have pets. It made it through the toddler years, but has not made it through the Chester years. <laughs> That's been the problem. So I need to find something to um, stick here just to make this look nice again. And it's time to take down the Thanksgiving fall decor. I already started putting some of it away, but I still have some things out that I need to put away. We just celebrated my son's birthday too. He just turned 19, I can't believe it. And that's what's up. So I'm going to take a few minutes and start packing away Thanksgiving. All right, here's all of my Thanksgiving stuff. Like I said, I did actually start this a couple of days ago, so it's not too bad, but this is the, the end of it. So I'm gonna put this away and hopefully in the upcoming week, we can start decorating for Christmas. So I've been doing some desk work after I did some housework, lots of fun, lots of dishes. I have to do laundry now. It's like, I don't know. I feel like for some reason this year, I cannot get my head above water. It's just been constant chaos, but I'm trying, <laughs> really trying hard. So I'm going to go do some laundry and then my reward will be, I'm going to have like a cup of coffee or a cup of cocoa or something warm on this rainy cold day and maybe just chill and like read one of my books. I'm doing two book clubs this December because I don't have enough going on, right? <laughs> but my Patreon book club is always priority. I always have so much fun with that. So we're reading a book for that. And then I'm also reading another book for our local library. Um, the book club that we're doing for Patreon is The Santa Suit. And I really love it because it takes place in a small town that is very familiar to me because it's very much like the town I live in. So that's really been enjoyable. And then the other one I'm reading, I can never remember the name of it. Oh, I think it's called Home Sweet Christmas. And that's really good too. Really kind of like light, fluffy holiday books, nothing too serious, which is perfect for this time of year because there's too much going on to be able to like really take in a serious or heavy book. So that's been good. So that's what I'm up to. I just wanted to check in because it's been a busy day, but I want my first day of vlog -a days to be somewhat interesting to you. So hopefully it is all mundane stuff, but you know, I'm sure you can all relate. I finished folding all of the laundry, but I am just too lazy to put it away. So I put it back in the basket and I am going to make something warm to drink. So I'm gonna try the Starbucks peppermint mocha in my adorable Alani mug. Reminds me of Hawaii, which I already miss, especially now that it's getting colder, but I'm gonna give this one a try. And we're gonna froth some milk to go with that too. Okay, so it was a good idea, but this is not all going to fit <laughs> into my 
cup. So I have my super cute cup from when I went to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party back in 2018. I love this mug. How many of you guys have like a thousand of these? I have so many. And I am going to put the coffee in and then the milk. And we're not gonna spill, right? Oh, we are gonna spill it everywhere. I knew that was gonna happen. Okay. Well, and then the milk. That is some good frothy milk. <laughs> I think I did a really good job with that. Look at that. There we go. Cheers to vlogadies and broken dishwashers. Hey guys, so tonight did not go as planned. The rain got worse and the teacher ended up like emailing everyone saying that although tonight's event was rain or shine, it's completely optional. She doesn't expect anyone to go out in the pouring rain to sing. So even though I think probably some kids might have shown up, Madison really did not want to go and I don't blame her. Nobody wants to stand outside. I think it's like 38 degrees and raining and... As much as I was looking forward to this event that they do every year, it, the weather just was not cooperating and I'm already feeling a little under the weather. I've had a headache the last couple of days and have just been like feeling tired and worn down and I'm thinking to myself, that is going to be the thing that's going to put me over the edge if I ended up forcing myself to go. So anyway, Madison is now over a friend's house instead having a sleepover with a bunch of girlfriends. I ended up having a lot of work to do tonight. I'm still doing some work for um, Mickey World Travel for the travel agency I work for. I'm actually putting together an Alaska group cruise, which I am super excited about. And I've been booking cabins for that recently. It's not until 2025, but if you can lock in a group rate the day that they drop, which is what I was able to do, you can really, really get a good rate on it. So I'm excited about that. I've been booking a lot of cabins for that and that's kept me busy today and tonight. So it's almost seven o'clock at night, but I still probably have another maybe hour of work to get done. So I'm gonna finish that up and that's gonna be it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along and I will see you in the morning. Good night.